Hello my friends, this is video number 5 of my Ultimate Ladybug course. I explained already that what we learn here is the basics, the foundation for any script you do within the Ladybug tools, not just Ladybug. In the last video we looked into degree days, in specific heat degree days and cooling degree days. A very odd name for a very useful tool, which we need to look into more in future videos. In this video today, we're gonna just go to the next tool, which is wind speeds. And in particular, the wind speed adjustment to what, came from, what comes from the weather data itself. Um, there is a need to adjust it depending on what you're gonna study later on. And we will jump right in. Again, I clean it up a bit. Uh, if you were wondering from my last video, I had a my thumbnail on, on the video had this chart. It's very simple to create. I didn't show it in the video, but it's just adding the monthly chart to it. That's that's basically it. What's really good here, by the way, in the monthly chart, you can input you can input not just one data set, but uh, more than one. And in that case, we have the heating demand and the cooling demand in red. Cooling degree time and heating degree time. It basically indicates during the time, during the day, which time of the day you will need uh, heating and which time you need cooling. Uh, this was another chart that's actually not useful. Can delete that. Okay, now wind speeds. This is, I'm very excited because it's the first time where we actually look a bit more on the project itself. I just added some contour lines <coughs> in the model. I also show the outline of the project. This is the rough outline of the project. The information I have is not very detailed, but I assume that's um, pretty close um, to what I saw in the plan. I don't have a digital plan. It's all just paper or let's say digital screenshots and so on. But this is more or less the outline. This is the location of the, the site and the boundary. And I'm not sure if this building really exists I'm not 100% sure there was for sure something. Nevertheless, that's the information we have. I don't have anything else and it's fine. It's 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 more than I expected anyway. So, and now wind speeds. As we know, we were in analyze data. We are in here. There is the ladybug wind speed and there is the wind, the ladybug wind profile, which we look into later. I will also show it today because uh, it's interesting to see. But uh, what we look at in this video in more detail is the ladybug wind speed. And what is it all about? So imagine you have a weather, weather station. The kind of regular height of where the station is, um, <coughs> where the stations are exposed to the weather are in the range of 10 meters. I think airports probably have a, a standard where in which height they're gonna um, locate these the weather station. But it doesn't have to be. And I'm not sure if I can get this out of the um, E plus weather data. That would be something interesting to understand. But nevertheless, we, we assume it's in around 10 meters height, uh, especially if it's on the airport. I can imagine that they use the standard height. I will just delete this so we can do it from scratch and I can explain what I'm, what I'm trying to do here. So I was wondering if I can improve my wind speed from the original weather data to my modified weather data because the wind speed is recorded here at the airport in Kigali. I mean it's very it's highly speculative really what I'm doing here but it's just trying to to get one step closer to uh, what's what could be the reality there. So this is the tool and I could now to do it the right way, let's pull this whole thing here, and make it a bit more space, and I get, I will get my, I'll copy this whole thing here. This is my, um, so this was the the adjusted header, and I want to create a new header for the wind speed. So then everything has his order, and people who jump into this script later on will also have an understanding of what I did. So it, I take the wind speed here and place it in here. This is just to separate the header from the values. I don't have to do that because I could just feed in the the values in here. That's also possible. But I thought it would be nice to change the header as well. So this I don't need. This is uh, not useful in that case. 
I just need the values. I can add this tool here to my group by just clicking this and then click the group and then right click and add to group. Then this is part of the group. I use the values, go in here, and now we already have a tool already calculating something. And the input here is called the meteorological wind velocity. That is how it's recorded at the station, wind speed at the station. If I go in here, a data collection of meteorological wind speeds measured at the meteorological height with the meteorological terrain meter per second. Typically, this comes from the ladybug input weather, E plus weather uh, component. This can also be a number for the meteorological wind speed in meter per second. So this is the wind, this is the wind velocity at the, the weather station. Now it says here height. This is the wind speed I want to generate. I want to generate a new wind speed based on my surrounding. I mean, we are quite far away from the airport, but for me, it's better than nothing. I can try to see if I can improve something. This is on a ridge also. So that th the wind speed might be higher, but let's see. Um, we have the height. It says here, the height above the ground to be evaluated in meters. It's uh, one meter. Default is one meter, which is suitable for most thermal comfort models like PET and SET. So if I want to create a comfort model, one meter height is a good uh, height. So I, I think it would fit for uh, sitting and walking. But yeah, it's up to you. You can you can adjust that. In, in Holland, where people are very tall, we might uh, change that. Anyway. Let's keep it as it is. It's the f default one meter. That's where we want to measure or want to use the wind speed at one meter level. That means that tool tries to adjust the wind speed based on the height. The further up, the, the, the stronger. And then it also takes into account the terrain. This is super useful. Now I could say, for example, here the meteorological wind velocity is the, the data I have, the height is one meter, the terrain is, I can specify with a number. Uh, zero is for city, 50% of buildings above 21 meter. Um, one is suburban, suburbs, wooden areas. Two is country, open with scattered objects, generally less than 10 meters high. And three, three is water, flat area. I don't have really much idea how the landscape looks like here, but I would say it is the terrain is between two and three because it's on a ridge and there might be more wind. Maybe let's check out um, the location. Maybe we find some images that gives us a bit more understanding of how the landscape here looks like. Yeah, it is. I think it's very open. It's not no tall buildings. I mean, that was clear, but I was wondering how much vegetation, how much trees there are. And it seems like that's, yeah, it's very, it's quite open. Not a lot of vegetation, scattered trees. So I would say it's between three and four. Let's let let's take four as a start. We can place that by by a panel. And I also just want to I also want to compare what was the original uh, values compared to what the output is. So I will take another panel. So I, I will get another panel. So we com can compare what was the original wind speed compared to the uh, output, <coughs> the, the, compared to the, modif the modified wind speeds. So I get the values here and take the same here next to it so I can see what's happening. Now I just put a tick here, the air speed. This is basically my, my wind speed. At the moment it's, it's a bit lower, which I think doesn't make sense doesn't make much sense. So let's also check the meteor meteorological height. So this we talked about already. Default is 10 meters. I would say we keep that because we don't know. Um, and it seems like this is the default value for most airports. A number for the height above the ground at which the meteorological wind speed is measured in meters. Default 10 meters, which is the standard used by most airports and E plus weather files. So let, that's we can keep. And then the meteorological terrain. That is interesting. So it says here country for most airports. Let's again check uh, the Kigali airport. Let's see how that looks like. 
maybe from Google Earth, I would say it is more suburban. I mean, it's quite open here, but but it's in a very dense uh, neighborhood. Crazy if you li if you think you live here just next to the runway. I mean, you, you probably get depressed. Anyway, airspeed. So I I think, to be honest, I think the terrain is more like a suburban terrain. That's how I would see it. Oh, I'm wrong here. <laughs> um, that was the plan. I have this here on two. Okay. It, it slightly increased actually the speed, which I hoped because the truth here is it might be even faster. I will I will research a bit more about how the wind speed might be affected on a ridge of a hill, and we might need to add uh, something here. For now, this is the best we can get, and then you can um, change here the the way on how the wind speed is calculated. It's either a logarith logarithmic law or the power law, which is used for energy plus. Let's just leave it as it is. And that's basically it. We just changed our wind speeds. We haven't yet applied it here. That's what we need to do next. So I will just get rid of this and we put our data back together. This is the values. Here we're gonna write wind speed. Let's see what's in here so we know. So it's the same here. Here we write meter per second. Oh. Yeah, now it should be correct. And we can place this in here. So we, we updated now the wind speed. Now you can't see much. That's why I want to show you uh, the big brother of this tool, which is the wind profile. Uh, very quickly, we go through that in more detail when we actually go to the visualizing section of Ladybug. For that, I, I will use both. I will use the windrows and the wind profile. The windrows we can look at. Just it's very simple. We just need the, the 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 wind direction and the wind speed. So it's funny because it says here north data and wind direction. Both is data. <laughs> we get here the data and then the wind direction. The wind direction, I I, I think it would be would, wouldn't be right to try to modify that. I would need to really have weather data for that specific site. But let's assume it is similar it's similar at the airport as at the airport. Let's also create a point where we want to place it. So that gives us um, a bit of an understanding of the wind direction and the wind speeds in meter per second at the at the level we specified. <clears throat> yeah, the wind direction. We so we choose the wind speed, the modified wind speed, which is at one meter height, and we use the the wind direction from the original data. And now we could add also the wind profile very quickly. So we can look at this a bit more in detail probably next time if we need to. I mean, this is already goes, there's not so much to do anyway. I mean, you can, you can adjust a lot of things. So we will, we will look at this a bit more. So, so we get a better understanding. Of what are the options here? And then the wind profile is now the meteorological wind velocity now we use our modified version because that's what we that's why we modified it so we put this here and by the way we could also use this from that we could also use um we could place it here actually that maybe that's better we have more space here let's take everything what we've created and we place it here instead of working in this area we use the new weather data for everything wind speed and wind direction it shouldn't change now yeah so it's exactly the same and the same we will do with the wind profile wind velocity i find it always funny that it's never consistent ladybug the naming 
is never consistent. Here, it's, here uh, meteorological, meteorological wind velocity is called data, and here is called meteorological wind velocity. And here is called wind direction, and then here is meteorological wind direction. But don't get me wrong, I think it's a great tool. Let's have this here, and then we also need a, a point for the wind profile. Base point. It's crazy, no? Look, here it says center point, and here it says base point. Just name it base point. And there we need to have... So if we look at this now in elevation or perspective, we actually see here the wind direction and how it's changed with um, with the height. We need to be really careful here, by the way. I just realized something. That we changed this based on... The assumption that we want to uh, check the, the the wind speed at a certain height. That's actually not the case here. We need to modify it again. Anyway, this is just to make sure that we are not creating wrong information here. We can put this the meteorological wind velocity and then we change the height to back to... Um, oh no, actually we can uh, do this here. I was bitching about Ladybug. But then at the same time, it has everything you need. So we can place the terrain. That we don't need now because we already provided the terrain. But we could, of course. Um, let's do that. So we have countryside. Country, yeah. And should we? Yeah, do we need to also change that here? And we also need to... Oh, this is going to be the same. And then the height we need to change. Not 100% sure here, because if I say the terrain is country, okay, this is, should be fine. And the meteorological terrain is, is country as well, because we changed it to country. The meteorological height is 10 meter, is 1 meter, because that's what we changed as well. We changed this here. I need to be careful here, really. Um, this might not be correct. So I will copy this to see if there's any difference. So we we change the wind speed for this for this updated um, weather data to one at the wind speed at one meter. Yeah, I was a bit debating with myself what's the best solution here. What I did now is I I assume that I imagine we would have a weather a weather data a weather set a weather <laughs> sorry weather station on the site and we also place it in ten meters height just to avoid some confusion. And we only change the terrain from uh, the meteorological terrain from the airport suburb suburb to country. And what I uh, and how I did this, there's a mistake. There's a bit of a bug here. You need to, if you want to put in any number here, you want to, you need to type the hint. Otherwise, it doesn't understand it. That seems like a a, a bug. Now I changed it again. So. I changed here to 10 meter. That means I don't change the the height for my modified weather data. So I just assume there's another weather station on my site, on my project site, which is also in 10 meter height, just to avoid confusion with the tools which coming afterwards. The wind speed for let's say outdoor comfort calculation, where I then change the height to one meter, but also um, so I have a more realistic image of the wind rows and the wind profile because that's what I was worried about that it seems like it kind of messes up the wind profile. So here the terrain is set to 2 and the meteorological terrain is set to 2 as well so that doesn't change and now we can see um, the wind speeds in different height 4 meter height, 8 meter height and now we can also change the the orientation because it seems like we have the the highest wind coming from that side could make sense so we have uh, from south southeast basically the the this is the main wind direction in order to rotate that to the to the right wind direction we can go here profile wind direction and put in let's see how how we can how accurate this is because we hmm profile wind direction southeast 
Southeast is actually not representative for this and South Southeast is not available. So let's keep South. It seems like this is the best option here. But if you want to change it, of course, then uh, you can provide numbers again. Uh, maybe it let's, let's use a slider in that case so we can play a bit. Not sure why this actually writes quite high wind velocity. I'm not sure if this is ne needed. You can always adjust that with um, the legend parameters to set a minimum and maximum. Normally wind speed wouldn't go. It's not. Uh, let's just have maybe 10 as a maximum, 12 maybe. And that we can place in here. The rotation of the wind. So we assume that wherever, th so this seems to be the main wind direction here from south, south, east. That means the direction of the wind is this direction to the north, northwest. <coughs> That's why in this direction here, wondering if I could place here a No, it doesn't work. Ah, okay. It won't be become better, really. So that's that's how far I can get here at the moment. With the CFD analysis, analysis, we of course we can be much more specific. But I think I leave it for this here now. A quick recap: we changed the, we try to modify the wind speed from the original data to feed into the new uh, weather E plus weather data, and we only changed the terrain to match what's here. Probably because, because in a ridge it's not 100% accurate, but it's the best what I can get at the moment. And then we we plotted the wind rows and also the wind profile. Becomes quite interesting. Just need to find a nice screenshot. I could play like hours with this. Okay, next video, very exciting. Outdoor comf comfort, indoor outdoor comfort. So it's getting, it's becoming really interesting. See you in the next video.